Welcome to video number 26 in SSRS reporting service. Uh, this is uh, pagination. In the last video, what we saw was we were able to do the paging like as expected, right? So paging was working great, everything was fine. But the problem is, uh, like you know, you only get 10 pages per record. Now the users are not alike; they are different they have the different needs and different customization so some say I want to see five records per page some say I want to see 20 records per page so how can you do that if you really want to do that then every time you need to go to group properties then you need to say FX and then you need to change the value and in the end you say OMG right <clears throat> so we don't want that we want the user to do the things for himself alright so what can we do is right click add a new parameter then you need to say the name of the parameter that would be limit all right and the prompt is uh, enter your limit all right and the data type would be obviously it's an integer all right and then uh, you say a default value specify a value and then you say <coughs> add and you say 5 and then you hit OK and then you preview it alright so but by putting a 5 and when I'm hitting a view report it doesn't make any changes because this 5 is not reflecting to the expression what we have built so what can we do is again we need to choose the group 1 right click on it we need to choose the properties go to FX and now this 10 we don't want that now instead what we need is a parameters you need to choose a parameters and we have recently just created a limit parameter so double click on that and it will fill in the value for you or if you are an expert then you can write it by yourself hit ok hit ok and let's save it and let's preview it the moment you preview it it gets the value of 5 and now you can do the paging next 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 now in case if I do 10 and if I save you report now so I get 10 records every page so this is kind of cool this is what I was looking for but as we all know now I'm getting 15 records now this is very very good but as we all know some of the users are really numb nuts they actually go crazy and do something like this which we don't want them to do so basically what happens is I'm saying I want to see 75 records per page but when you scroll down you'll end up with 45 <clears throat> and you're not happy and the reason why this is happening because if you have seen my pagination first video in which I have shown you that we have chosen a custom or maybe you can choose the A4 whichever you feel is comfortable in the end the height matters if your height is not sufficient then the number of records which we are displaying on the page will not fit into the system right so 75 or above 60 is not going to work because our page has a limit height of uh, 28.8 inches which hardly takes 45 records so how can we come over this problem so basically what you're saying is uh, I cannot go above so let's say 44 44 is fine so we need to put you know a something in the system you know that even if uh, a user enters something stupid or uh, it should not allow or a better way would be you know uh, instead of uh, letting the user enter the values you know in the numeric fashion we can give the user a drop down using which he will select a value and based on which the things will happen and the drop down will contain hardly 30 to 35 records so the things are in our control we are giving a user an option but not beyond the limits so everything everything will be uh, balanced the way we need right so I hope uh, this video gives you an idea how we did this whole thing w what we did is like we created a parameter we said this guy is going to be an integer then we configured his properties and we said the default value would be a 5 when you load yourself up alright and in the expression the group one I'm choosing I've chosen the properties what I did was in the expression instead of using uh, the hardcore values I've changed the values based on the text box which the user is filling up for me right so this is uh, what a dynamic it depends like what 
you can choose in the next video I'm gonna show you you know you can uh, get these values from the drop down alright so it becomes the system becomes very stable doesn't break alright so I hope uh, you like this video and if you if this video helps you in some way then please subscribe to my channel and share this videos with your friends in case of any doubts or query comments are most welcome and thank you for watching this video good night and take care